In this session, let us discuss about recycling of e-waste using direct recycling. In e-waste, out of various constituents, metals contributes to significant economic value and the effects are focused only on extracting those metals during recycling operation. The recycling of e-waste involves the following steps. First step is collection and transportation. Here, the e-waste is collected from different sources such as households, business, uh, etc. After that, it is sending to recycling plant for processing. Second step is sorting and dismantling. Here, based on the type of material and the manufacturer, e-waste is distributed into different categories. After that, recyclers dismantle the devices to separate the valuable materials from the hazardous components. Next step is shredding. Here, e-waste is shredded into or cut into small pieces in order to make the separation easier. After that, based on their composition, these shredded pieces are distributed into different categories. Next step is separation. Here, the valuable materials such as metals, plastics and glass are separated from the other components through a series of physical and chemical process. Next step is processing. Here, the separated materials are processed to remove uh, the impurities and contaminants also to make them reuse. For example, metals are smelted or uh, extracted to obtain pure metal alloys while the plastics are melted and molded to obtain the new products. Next step is disposal of hazardous waste. Here the hazardous components present in the e-waste like batteries, LCDs, etc. are properly disposed to prevent the pollutions and health hazards. E-waste recycling and recovery can be achieved through different methods. Those are separation method, direct recycling method, hydrometallurgical extraction method and pyrometallurgical method. Now let us see in detail about separation method and direct recycling method. First let us see about separation method. In this method, e-waste components like metals, plastics and circuit boards were physically separated. This one can be achieved either through manually or through automated process. After that, the separated materials are processed once again for recycling or disposal. Some specialized equipment can be used to sort the materials by density, size or magnetic properties. Let's see one more e-waste recycling method that is direct recycling. It involves the harvesting electronic components directly from e-waste without breaking them further into small components. Then these harvested materials are further processed with the healing method to regenerate the recycled materials. These regenerated materials have performance equivalent to original materials. And this me method is cost effective and environmentally friendly. For better understanding, we will give an example. Direct recycling of lithium ion battery. Here, the battery is discharged first in order to avoid uh, short circuiting and self-ignition of the battery. After that, the battery is dismantled to separate cathode, anode, electrolyte and the separator. Finally, these components are reassembled for reuse. This is one of the examples for direct recycling method. 